Hey you guys, it's your girl always Armida. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. And if you're not new here, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to turn your old candles, Bath and Body Works candles, whatever kind of candles that you have into wax melts. This is my first time doing this. So I'm learning just like you guys are learning, but I've been watching a couple videos. So I think that I got it down pack so without further ado we're just gonna hop right on into the video okay you guys so these are all the candles that i have i don't know if i'm going to be using all these but i just took these three out and put them right here because these are the ones that are used the most y'all know that strawberry pound cake i really really love that and then i have gooey caramel this is one of my boyfriend's favorites but it smells so good you guys and then i have island margarita and this is just what it looks like so yeah you guys they are just about used all the way up then i have this right here and when it melts in the jar and it's about like done melting i'm gonna pour it in here and then i'm gonna pour it into these right here these are just silicone molds um this is what i've been seeing people use you can use any kind i just picked these up from walmart because they're really cheap but i know they have them at dollar general and other places i think they're gonna like turn out really cute because i mean it's flowers and i think these are also supposed to be flowers but yeah so oh also you're gonna need a pot with boiling water and so yeah this is the water that we're trying to get to boil Mm -mm. I had to turn down just a little bit, just a little bit. Anyway, we're just gonna. Dip it in there. And once it starts to melt, I'll come back and show you guys. As you can see, it's melting some. I'm gonna try to wait until it gets like all the way like in the middle so that I can maybe like pick the wicks up, not with my hand, with the tongs. So yeah hold on i'm gonna come back okay you guys as you can see i ended up not using the cup to pour the hot wax into the mold because it was just really really hot and it was taking too long so i just poured it with my hands and i sat before i started to pour and let it cool off i kind of wasted a little bit on the counter but that's okay long as it gets in here that's fine so after that all you're gonna do is just put it in the refrigerator and let it cool for about 10 minutes and then or to like whenever it's dry okay you guys so now that i think i can do it i'm going to put two in and i like this one because it's clear and i can see more without having to look over the top but yeah I'm just gonna dip it in there and then we're gonna go in with the other one which is the island margarita Ooh, oh my gosh but yeah we just going to i'm gonna turn it up just a little bit i can't seem to figure out what i should put the stove on because at first i had it too high and now i feel like it's too low but bear with me you guys we gonna have our candle melts okay so you guys this one is definitely working out a little bit better than the first one i don't know what was going on but it seems like it's melting a little bit faster but it's not as hot as it was either but yeah i'm kind of excited to see what they're going to turn out like because they're going to be different colors and i just want to see what they're going to look like right now i'm just going to let them cool down um i was able to get the wicks out of the island margarita but not the blueberry maple pancakes i don't know why this little tongue here has just it's just been through it, you guys so yeah okay so right now i'm just pouring the second batch of wax melts into the baking mold and this one was a lot harder to do because it wasn't as deep as the first one that i had to pour them into and that is something that i do recommend um it doesn't really matter if you waste it a little bit because you're not going to use that part of the wax melt i put what i've already done in the fridge and i'm gonna let it sit in there until they're fully dry 
and I'm going to do the last two candles that I wanted to do. I'm not gonna put that on camera because you already seen the process. But anyways, I'm just gonna come back and show you the ending result of what my wax melts look like and maybe put them in a wax warmer and we'll see how it goes. Okay, you guys, so now I'm just showing you what it looks like after you take it out of the refrigerator. Um, you want to wait till you don't see any wet spot in the middle of it because the outsides, like the corners of the wax melt, tend to dry a little bit faster than the inside. And then if it's not dry, when you take it out, it's going to break. So yeah, I'm just going to pop them out and it was getting real messy. So I went ahead and just got me a paper towel to put them on. My friend was listening to music in the background. So now you just see me dancing a little bit. But anyways, yeah. Hey you guys, so I am finally done with all the wax melts or whatever you wanna call them. They came out really pretty, so I'm just gonna show you guys what they look like. This is the final result. These are all my little wax melts. I made the blueberry maple pancakes, the strawberry pound cake, the island margarita and gooey caramel. And yeah, I'm really happy with the way that these turned out. They're super, super cute. I wrote one, but yeah, I just, I really, really love this. Um, I know that they're gonna like melt and you won't even, <laughs> you won't even see the pretty flower, but I just thought it was something really, really unique. So from now on, the candles that I really, really like and I cannot light anymore, I'm gonna turn it into a wax melt. So let me know you guys how you're feeling about this down in the comments, if you like it, if you're gonna be trying it, um, yeah. And that is it right there, just melting, I'm testing it out. This is a brand new one, so it's still kinda like heating up. But anyways, yeah, you guys. Okay, you guys, that is the end of the video. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn the post notification bell on so that you'll be notified about when I make my next upload. Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you will be trying this and what candles that you are going to use. Bye, you guys.